Hi, this is the Phoenix. Back to do another energy update for the sign of Libra. Just keep in mind, these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Libra. For those of you that are interested in crystal bands, I do have a link in the description below. You can check that out. Alright, so something has you feeling stuck and stagnant. Something is pulling you or holding you back. And it needs to be cut out of your life. You're about to have some type of conversation with someone concerning some type of difficult period you have been going through. You're going to get the reasoning within yourself. It could have to do with a male counterpart, someone that you are very sexually attracted to. So, communication with that person may actually be opening up after a while of stagnancy. Yeah. But be careful, someone is deceiving you. But the relationship will actually need a lot of care and attention. But somebody in your orbit is definitely lying to you, deceiving you and having you stuck. So be careful who you um, listen to for advice. Alright, so let's see what is coming through the towers for you guys. All right, so someone that have that is definitely deceiving you, you're going to figure them out eventually. And that will give you a sense of commitment. You might have success when it comes to money or some type of long-term success you're going to have. But you are going to figure out who this person is that is trying to deceive you or has been deceiving you. You're going to step into the Queen of Swords energy and you're going to use your head over your heart. And once you do that, you're going to figure out what is happening in your situation. You're going to start to use your head over your heart when making decisions. And that is going to lead you to a wonderful, committed relationship with someone. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Now, this person is your end-all, be-all. This person is your ten of cups. This person is the person that you will have a future with. But you have to take the risk and the chance on them. You have to decide to take that leap of faith towards them. Could be an Aries for some of you, or it could be an Aries trying to deceive you concerning this person. Now you are back and forth in your head. You have a lot of sleepless nights because you're confused as to what to do. Someone is telling you negativity and you are not seeing it in the person that they're speaking about. So there is a lot of confusion, a lot of anxiety and stress within you. But it's time for you to look outside of yourself. The information that is about to come towards you will give you clarity. But you have you have the choice to make. For some of you, it could be a Capricorn, but whoever this person is in your life, they're trying to keep you stuck. They don't want you to go towards this person because I think they know you're going to have a successful relationship with them. Yeah, this person is your soulmate. And that is what this other person is trying to keep you from. Now, this person is any devil energy, yeah? Toxic energy. This person is all about deceit, lies, manipulation. But communication is going to be opening up between you and your person very soon. This person is ready to take action and communicate with you to tell you exactly what it is they want. And what they want with you is the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. That is solid, stable commitment. Happy home, happy life situation. 
because they have stayed quiet for quite a long time they allowed you to say whatever you wanted to say do whatever you wanted to do but now they're ready to speak could be a pisces for some of you but an aries leo or sag that is in your orbit could be friend family but somebody is trying to control and manipulate the situation someone is not being the best version of themselves someone is actually jealous of you it could be someone from childhood someone from your past but this is definitely some type of karmic situation that is playing out it could be a significant other as well but this person a taurus virgo capricorn this person has a lot of toxic energy now they may be caring kind and loving but when it comes to your person that you are a soulmate to and they are a soulmate to you this person is being biased <clears throat> because they don't want things to even out and balance out between you and this individual because they know if things balance out between you and this individual you are going to have a wonderful relationship so someone or, or, or people is manipulating you Libra because this person is coming in to finally take action and tell you that they want to be in a relationship with you yes they do feel the same way for you that you feel for them it's not a one-sided affair no they do not want to be unfair to you they want commitment from you they want higher levels of commitment from you they see the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups with you they want stability happy home happy life situation with you but there are people in your orbit that is manipulating you and lying to you concerning this person because they want you to give up and let go of this individual yeah they want you to ignore this cup of love that is coming towards you and keep looking back on the past and keep looking at the fact that this person was not communicating with you there was a sense of separation but they will not come clean and tell you the truth even if you confront them because they are into the manipulation and lies because they don't want you to be in their connection with this person someone is very manipulative here yeah mm -hmm. and let me tell you something new beginnings want to come in for you there is a lot of passion between you and this person there is a lot of love between you and this person this person is ready to take action towards you this is a new beginning when it comes to passion they want to communicate it to you they want to travel to come to you for some of you this person is going to tell you everything you've been waiting to hear but it's up to you if it works out or not are you willing to listen to the whisper in your ears or are you willing to give this a chance the choice is yours because you feel like there is no growth with this person you feel it's a waste of your time or they or you're being told this but you need to step into the empress energy this is your energy Libra. this is you being the best version of yourself and knowing what it is you want this is you finding your, a balance between your head your heart your emotions your logical thinking how grounded you are so you have to decide what it is you want stop letting people influence your decisions because this person is ready to take action in love in passion in truth this person wants everything with you but there is a lot you are not seeing about the people that is surrounding you this person has deep romantic feelings for you but i don't think they've ever said it to you instead what has been happening is a lot of people have been whispering in your ear it's time for you to face the truth and to drop your ego because this person is your person yeah it's time for you to make stable decisions for yourself time for you to turn on your queen of pentacles energy this queen knows exactly how to get what it is she wants she is a wonderful manifester but she's also stable kind nurturing but you also need to be the king of swords make decisions with your head over your heart 
Now you and this person mirror each other because we had the Queen of Swords come out and the King of Swords. This person is exactly your divine counterpart. But you have to choose where this relationship goes. Because this person is coming towards you to tell you how they feel. It is your choice. Do you listen to the people that is obviously manipulating you and lying to you? People from your past, people from his past or her past. But be careful. A lot of times when people speak about other people, it's because they're jealous of them. And they want to be them. So keep that in mind when you're making your decision as regards to this person when they do come towards you. Which is very soon. Everybody's, everybody knows the bad things people have done. But nobody looks at the good things that they do. Somebody will remember bad things forever. But they will forget the good. Would you say you still love me? I need to hear you say it. So this is probably you saying that to this person. Live in the present moment. Create the life that you want, one thought at a time. So you are the, you are the creator of your own destiny, Libra. You could keep staying stuck in an energy that is not serving you, or you could choose to get out of that energy. I smile to the thought of you. So you know you are in love with this person. And it's time you take action towards your own life. Your smile brightens my day in ways you'll never truly understand. So this person is, is in love with your smile. It's not over. So this person is on, its way, on his or her way back to you. Stop listening to outside people. They are deceiving you. You know what you feel and you know what happens between you and this person. This person may not have been for everyone, but they're definitely your person. This person wants long-term success with you and they're coming towards you to say it. So, you could prove a lot of people wrong or you could prove this person wrong. It's up to you. Spirit advice to my Libras in this specific situation. Advice to my Libras. Come out of the cave. Persecution expression. So you have to choose what you submerge from that cave to be. Yes. Just say yes. This is my self-love card. So every time this card comes out, I say to people, you need to love yourself more. How are you being called to lead? Trust your intuition here, Libra. Because it's time to get off that treadmill. Stop doing the same thing you've been doing over and over again, expecting a different result. Yeah. Some of you are mystics, priestesses, and teachers. Time to step into your power and Check your intuition about this person and about this situation. And once you start to trust you, you're going to realize who is in your orbit that is deceiving you. All right? So this is what I have for you guys. I hope it does help. Have a good one.